What's not to love about a restaurant started by legendary Atlanta restaurateur George Maccaro and his good buddy, larger than life media mogul, Ted Turner? Well, not much, especially when they're serving outstanding bison burgers that are the talk of the town. With spots all over the ATL, let's hang at Ted's Montana Grill. Ted's Montana Grill is a classic American grill featuring fresh made from scratch food and it pleases everybody from high chairs to wheelchairs, just like mama used to make, even turkey and dressing on Sundays. Why are you digging Ted's so much? I dig Ted's because it's fresh, it's delicious, it's close. It's just very cozy. Um, when you're walking downtown and then you walk into this building, it's the wow factor. Ted's is a place that if my family comes or anybody comes into town, uh, this is one of the places I'm always going to bring them. With my buddy, George McCarroll. How you oh, doing, buddy? Good to see Legendary you, Legendary restaurateur <laughs> of Atlanta. I can call you a legend, right? Anybody that, sure. Anybody that opens this many great restaurants, that's uh, you're a winner in my book. Well, thank you, Steak. I appreciate that. I try. Tell me about the excitement around Ted's. This is your place. How many years now into the game are we? Well, we're 11 years in, and Rutherford Seidel really was the catalyst for all this. Ted's son-in-law. Ted's son-in-law. And we had four goals, Steak. One was to help save the great American bison, which we've done, double the size of the herd. Bring bison to America's table. Number three was help Turner Ranches, since they raise you know, the largest bison ranchers in the world. And four was to have a sustainable, healthy restaurant company that could stand on its own, something we could be proud of. First of all, what's it, what was it with Ted and Bisons? Well, how'd that whole thing start? Well, what was, what you know, Ted tells there? the story best. Yeah. I mean, he he loved the great American West. Right. He he didn't, he doesn't like cattle. They're not great for the environment. Bison are native to the West. So he's just in love with the West, and bison is part of the West. What about the pickles? Ted, do you get excited? Bowl right. I, I always ask for a bigger bowl. First thing is first, these pickles. Who came up with the pickles? Because I usually I did. This one problem. Normally I always say I need a bigger plate than that. You know they say in Jaws, I need a bigger boat? No. That's always my first time. You gotta give me more pickles. I like them because they're fresh. It's different. I, I don't know of another restaurant that serves this. The bison nachos. Those were awesome. My kids love things, by yeah. the way. This was uh, actually, ironically, Rutherford thought of this dish. He came to me and said, we need nachos. And I said, we don't make chips. Right. And I don't buy chips because at Ted's, I think the fundamental thing you need to know about all the food at Ted's is made from scratch in-house today. So when Rutherford came to me, I said, all right, I'll give it a try. And we tried it, and it's the most popular dish. It's number on the one. Number one. It's nice to have an atmosphere like this where it's casual, but still lively and fun and be able to have different options. I'm probably at Ted's more than any restaurant consistently in the course of a year because what does it do? Kids are happy, dad's happy, now we come together uh, at this spot. So families are obviously a big deal. Absolutely. Uh, kids, you know, we were the healthy kids menu early on, salmon, pot roast, you know, healthy alternatives for kids. And let's face it, I mean, classic American grill, you can eat a lot of variety and come here often, and that was the plan. I'm always gonna go buy some burger every single time. It's very tasty, it's lean, it's healthier for you, um, but it doesn't lose all the great flavors that you enjoy from having a great burger. What to George McCarroll, what makes a great burger? Well, first of all, it has to start with fresh ground beef or fresh ground bison, in our case, either one. Second of all, it has to be a great bun. The bun has to be toasted, in my opinion. Yep. Um, that cheese has to be right, has to be melted and gooey. And then the toppings and flavor profiles have to all come together for excitement. Right, well what's your favorite burger? Give me your top three. Somebody's watching and they want to go with the George McCarroll well, top Well, George's three. Cadillac, yeah. which is barbecue sauce, uh, American cheese, and bacon. I, I love the New Mexico burger. Yeah, my wife loves really that. Really good. Got a little spice and then, to it. And then actually right now the number 10 has taken over because it's a perfect classic American cheeseburger with homemade pickles on it, tomato, secret sauce, lettuce, tomato, onion, great cheese, great fresh burger on a toasted bun. Kind of like what you remember, your first memories of a great burger, right? Absolutely. The number 10. Know, absolutely, number 10. When we come back, I'm in the kitchen with Chef, getting my bison on. Chris Rayucci, what's up my man? How are you, sir? The Good corporate chef from Ted's Montana Grill, one of my favorite spots. And you're the guy that decides 
what gets on the menu, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So all those combinations of burgers you came up with with some other folks, right? Absolutely. So how do you get one of those combos on the menu? Like how much how much goes into a new burger? At new Ted's? burger at Ted's. You know, we go through different tastings with the executive team. Right. Um, we put in a test for a few months and get feedback, consumer feedback. How do I get in on that little tasting deal? We'll, that, we'll call you. Yeah. I yeah. was told that by a lot of women right. back in high school. Never <laughs> happened. Right. Will you really call me? Absolutely. So. Yeah. Which one are we making today? It's going to be our Bison New Mexico burger. Yeah. So tell me about the flavor of bison compared to the flavor of ground beef. You know, uh, flavor of bison compared to beef, bison's a little bit sweeter. It's yeah. got a cleaner texture. Um, it's a lot leaner than, than our normal beef. Um, we grind it in-house throughout the day, so it's yeah. the freshest possible product like, you can get. I like to order bison because it's a little healthier. Absolutely. And then I like to put like cheese yeah. and like bacon mayo and, and bacon. Yeah. I don't, I get nervous <laughs> right. if, you know, it's, too healthy. Yeah. yeah I mean, I mean a healthy. burger, right? Right. Exactly. All right. The perfect burger. Yeah. Cheese. Yes. Bacon. Bacon. Mushrooms. My favorite combination usually involves cheese, um, tomato, lettuce, a little bit of spice, whether it's jalapenos or horseradish. Um, but Ted's has all the combinations you could look for. And every time you order a burger at Ted's, that's what we do. Right. Ticket comes in, we grab it Man. off the handmade. Handmade. Let toasted me, bun. Gotta be toasted. Toasted bun. bun. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and put some. Uh, Grated pepper jack cheese. Right on. on there. Right on. We'll put the dome back. So that's going to help um, melt it. Melt it. Flavors all come together, right? Exactly. Now you're not calling that salsa. You're calling that tomato jam. Spicy jam? tomato jam. Yes. Spicy I tomato see where you're jam. Going there. We got our uh, roasted Anaheim chilies. Oh, that's awesome. And our I mean, fresh made guacamole. Meal. Am I going to get a bite of this? I'm talking about. Yes, sir. You want to toast the fry? Absolutely. Here's the man with the hat. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That's a beautiful thing. That's a the piece bison ribeye right there. My bison ribeye. You got a little uh, melted butter on top. Yes, sir. A little what's maitre happening? d' butter. This is perfect. This makes my heart go pitter patter. Oh, I was getting. I'm like salivating yeah. over here. I'm, I'm, I'm schwitzing. You know what schwitzing is? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, I'm schwitzing over here. <laughs> so this, that's bison. Yeah, that's a Bison Delmonico, our top bison selling steak. I mean, it's from the rib loin. It is cooked to perfection with a little maitre d' butter on it. Comes with my two favorite foods, great roasted broccoli and a giant baked potato. I'll tell you that you don't have to be, here's what's great, because there's a bunch of Ted's, a lot of folks watching Ted's all over neighborhoods around Atlanta. You don't have to take a big drive to get as good a steak as there is at any top steakhouse. Absolutely. I mean, look at that. Thanks for having me, one of my all-time favorite places, and you, my friend, a legend in Atlanta. Thank you very much Thanks for having us. Thanks for having me. us. Cheers, mate. Cheers.